I want to identify high probability setups as a price action trader, there are a set of rules, price action rules that I need to follow in order for me to stay on the right side of the market. And I have a trend line structure in front of me. I can see that the prices are swinging down, up, down, up, down. So there is no clear uptrend or no clear downtrend. So that means I have to identify the extremes because prices are most likely test the extremes and swing between these key levels. What I also have to do, I also have to follow the trend line rule, which says after break of a trend line, traders will attempt to create new extreme. So we have a break, new extreme form, and then we expect reversal. I'm going to do the same thing to the upside. We have an uptrend break, attempt to create new high. We have a reversal down, downtrend working lower break, new low. We expect reversal. Now we have an uptrend working higher without new extreme tested. We straight up reversed. I'm going to withdraw the downtrend, which had a break and it had massive leg down. But once I see prices reacting at the top and I can move it a little bit lower like this and basically treat this as a new test of this resistance, this was pretty substantial move down. So I'm going to redraw the downtrend from this point on again. So at this point on we are pushing lower and according to trend range rule, most breakouts of trend ranges will fail. However, I have a shortened downtrend in play. So I don't want to fade this breakout just yet. I'm waiting and paying attention to what the prices are going to do. I can see that the exponential moving average keeps holding price and we keep strongly pushing down. And once I saw prices pushing down like this, we basically created a measured move of the trading range. This is where I really thought we may eventually continue pushing lower and the new downtrend may start. So when I was watching this, I was looking for some wide downtrend like this because most of the time, once you get so far from the initial trading range, you tend to start a new trend. But it didn't happen. Prices pull back and tested this breakout area. This is pretty typical. The prices will come back and test the breakout area. However, from this point on, when I'm not sure what's going to happen, I pay attention to the exponential moving average. And I can see that instead of prices turning back down, we push strongly above EMA and the exponential moving average keeps holding price every single time. So at this point on, I have to take a step back and I have to analyze the structure. I need to delete my idea of the bigger downtrend. And this is basically just one big leg down, correction, second big leg down because market likes to move in pairs of twos. So at this point on, I can see break of this uptrend and price created new extreme. Now, we have a new high here where we set the count and we have a first entry long. I cannot go long here just yet. This is just a first entry long. You know, exponential moving average keeps holding price and is directly into this resistance. At this point on, I need to be patient. I can see that the prices form break first leg to a new high, pull back second leg to a new high. So from this perspective, we pull back into trend range and we have first leg to a new high, pull back second leg to a new high. Now at this point on, the structure is very unclear because the initial trend range didn't hold price. The downtrend wasn't established and this is looking very confusing. So at this point on, the price action is really hard to read and you guys can see that it's going mainly sideways. Exponential moving average is getting flat a lot of bars are stacking up. So when I was watching this, I drew this small little train range. They are higher lows each time. So this looks like a spike and a potential channel pattern. So the longs are tempting off the lows because right now the exponential moving average keeps holding prices and the support now of the previous train range is still respecting the price. But this is so congested. This is what is called a no man's land. I don't even want to push my luck in a strong consolidation like this. So many stems, EMA in the middle of these bars, and even though you're creating higher lows, this price action is very difficult to read. And overall, you can see that there is no high probability setup for me to take just yet. So that comes to the territory. If the price action is not clear, I have to sit on my hands and wait until something clear forms a high probability setup. And a high probability setup needs to form under right conditions when I'm reading the structure correctly. So right now it's very difficult. I have an overshoot for this spike and a channel, which a lot of times leads to a break of a trend line or straight up reversal. Price broke the trend line and is never looking back. It's not respecting the support and it's trending all the way down. So once I saw prices pushing all the way down here, this is where I redrew the downtrend and my most recent structure is the downtrend. This is still looking like a train range. So I'm sticking mainly to the shortened patterns. Also what I can do, I can measure the first tier of the trend range, put it at the bottom and see that this may be a potentially measured two tier trend range. This is what I like to do when I expect the target to be the second tier of the trend range because you can measure not only the legs, 
in price action but you can also measure the tiers of a trading range so this gives me a little bit idea what kind of structure i'm working with even though it is very difficult to identify the proper structure since i see bearish downtrend working lower this is now my recent structure i have a break of this downtrend i have attempt to create new low but new low is not created just yet i expect for prices to follow the trend line rule and i still expect new extreme and at this point on i'm far away from ema to take any high probability setup because high probability setup needs to pull back to the ema and this is a congestion so at this point on i'm waiting patiently and we have 10 15 bars stacked in this congestion now congestion is a small little train range this congestion acts the same way as this train range up here and that means according to rules the most breakouts of this congestion will fail so as prices push to the upside and form this big bearish bar this is why i took my first trade for the day fell breakout notice it formed at the key entry point so this is good i got the structure down it is a bearish downtrend so this is good it is a high probability setup because it is a failed breakout out of the congestion at the key entry point and i still expect to get new low for this downtrend and there is no congestion this is the first clean setup after new low was formed you expect correction or possible reversal now you have a strong push above ema indicating that the reversal may happen but you cannot go long just yet if i want to go long after breaking new low i want to take reversal pattern which is characterized by two failed attempts in the previous trend direction previous trend was bearish so i want to see second entry short failed at the same time i want to see strong push above ema bars kept stacking up once we push lower i disregarded the long idea i was looking for felt second entry short the entire time after this big bearish bar i thought we may create a last leg down and get a lower high but we quickly pushed above EMA and this is confirming the initial analysis that you truly need to get new high for this uptrend and you truly may reverse because you're back above the exponential moving average. This is how you're working with the exponential moving average and we have new high, it's micro double top so I reset the count. We have a first entry long, break below this bar and the second entry long triggered after we broke above this bar right here. So the micro double top resets the count, there is no break above here, no break above here no break above here there's a break above here indicating first attempt to go long and after we get a break below the series of one of these bars and we have a pullback and then we have a second entry long triggering after we trigger above this bar right here so this is a second entry long and not only that it is also a new low first entry short pullback second entry short failure exponential moving average keeps holding price and since the downtrend played out with the breaking new low i can take a long entry the stop loss goes one take below the signal bar and you guys can see what it resulted into now as the market is pushing higher i still don't expect that we're gonna create such a massive move to the upside i basically still expect for prices to just create new extreme and then reverse this is unexpected move up but you have to trade the market you get not the market that you want and once i see prices so strongly pushing to the upside this is where i'm gonna find a potential channel at first i was looking for channel like this but since it has such a strong overshoot and this is not looking like a typical overshoot this makes me feel like there's a steeper cha channel developing so this was the channel i was playing with just trying to focus on this channel and now you may ask hold on we just broke above the train range and most breakouts will fail can i sell this well even though it worked for a skull which you can see it was a successful trade i don't necessarily want to go short because there's a point where the trend is so strong on its own where you know you don't know how many pushes higher you're going to make you want to fade the breakout once you're clearly identified the structure and the trend has ended but this trend is so strong that you really don't want to fade the breakout just yet you never know how many pushes higher you're going to make and you can see you can keep pushing higher consistently so even though it worked this is not a high priority setup it is far from ema so you expect at least little correction but you really need to respect the trend and right now this trend is strong on its own now in price action bigger pattern is taking precedence so we have an uptrend working higher that right now broke the trend line do i expect to get a new high or do i pay attention to the trend range and i expect most of the time the breakout will fail at this point on i am leaning more towards prices pulling back into trend range because if you compare the size of a trend range it is much larger and i don't want to take long just yet so even though this is a nice visual tool like a pullback this is what I call a wide second entry long. At some point, the second entry will get so wide that it looks more like a sideways movement and it happens to form late in a trend. This is very nuanced, 
requires experience. So when I was watching this, I didn't like taking this entry and you can see what would have happened. You would have gotten stopped out on a visual tool like a pullback. But the idea here is to take into consideration the overall range structure and the fact that you're quite in the middle of the trend range because right now we have a double top, we have a support and you're kind of middle of no man's land. This is too wide and you expect for prices to pull back into the string range because we just broke it. So I'm going to mark it if you took it because this really requires a uh, little nuance to obtain through years of trading. But um, these are the clues why you want to skip this entry right here. And it's overall in the middle of the EMA, kind of middle of no man's land. You don't want to be taking entries in the middle of the train range. Now, instead of prices reversing back down into train range, we kept pushing higher. This is indicating to me that the previous resistance is acting as a support and this served as a breakout pullback pattern. Only thing I can do now is to look for a failed second entry short because right now the bullish structure is being confirmed. We're not reversing down, we're pushing back above EMA. So at this point on, I'm starting to think, okay, now we truly get the new high. The reversal down failed, pushed above EMA, confirmed that this bullish upture may get new high. I have a first entry short and I get second entry short form right here but this is gigantic bullish bar so close to these highs it is tempting it is a felt second entry short but i just cannot justify going short into these eyes you guys can see what would have happened it was a great trap they trapped a lot of shorts picking top while you expect to get new extreme because once you now push above ema right here this is indicating and resuming the initial uptrend so at this point when you expect you're not going to push lower and you're going to create new high so this is a felt second entry short, but given the fact that you got eight bars stacked and it's right into these highs and your stop loss has to go below this bar right here because this is the low of the swing. So you enter right here, the stop loss has to go all the way down here, not here. You cannot put the stop loss right here. You have to put the stop loss all the way down here. So the only way to enter this is to wait for trigger above this bar, drop a limit order further back down. That never happened. Prices created move to a new high. Now you got a break. Couple likes to a new extreme, you have a new high form, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. Now we have a, what looks like reversal pattern, but it didn't fully close below EMA. I almost took this trade because I was looking for felt second entry long because you just now have a break, two likes to a new extreme. But if you zoom out and you take into consideration how long we've been working to the upside, you gotta be careful. The reversal pattern really needs to form good and at some point, the trend is so strong on its own that you just don't want to reverse a strong market. Okay, and this is a strong bullish uptrend. We've been trading to the upside for a long time. So this is a felt second entry long. I will mark it just for a quick try, but this is quite aggressive entry because it didn't fully push below EMA, but it is a reversal pattern. It is a nice bullish bar and you trap a lot of people going along here. But you gotta be careful. This was quite a bullish uptrend. So you gotta know what you're doing here. Prices form additional move to the new extreme. At this point on, I was a little bit confused because it's starting to look too bullish. I was looking for a more of a wider bullish uptrend, but in the end, market just strongly reversed back down, indicating truly that this was just a couple more legs to a new extreme and then prices reverse back down. If I'm gonna zoom out like that, this is indeed a trading range and we're pushing all the way back down again. So I have to follow the trend line rule. I have to draw the shortened trend lines. You guys can see I keep drawing the shortened corrections all the time because I want to stay on the right side of the market. Once this downtrend is in play, I know that I cannot go long. This downtrend is in play, so I know that I cannot go long. I need to get new extreme first after a break. New low, first entry short, pull back. You would expect to get second entry short below EMA. It pushed higher, but second entry short managed to push below EMA in the end. Decent entry, you got to break any new high of this uptrend correction telling you that it is okay to sell big bearish bar decent entry and this downtrend needs to get new extreme now we're pushing lower at this point on when i have a break in new high and this is looking quite strong bearish i expect the fact that we're going to pull back into the first string range so i'm looking for second entry short and i never get second entry short now when prices did this i drew a downtrend like this using the first couple of swings to help me identify the channel. And I see first entry short, and I'm expecting to get a second entry short off the key entry point, off the EMA and off the trend line, and we never got it. The market just kept pushing lower and kept pushing lower. So at this point on, 
I'm starting to identify that this is pretty typical in training ranges. You're going to have a steeper channel forming later on. You're just not may just form the flatter channel of these first two swings. A lot of times you will start a little bit later with the steeper channel. And you can actually identify the channel once the prices keep pushing lower consistently because you always have to find a pattern. So I'm always looking for some channel. At this point, this is a strong bearish downtrend. And I expect to get a high priority setup at the key entry point, which means I expect to get a two-legged pullback second entry short to EMA trend line, and I'm just waiting for price action to do its thing. We have a new low. This is where we set the count. We had a second entry short here, but it's far away from key entry point. Horrible signal bar. I cannot sell here. New low, count reset. First entry short, pullback, second entry short. At two key entry points, not just one. This is the first leg, pullback, second leg up. This is the textbook high probability setup. Uptrend played out with the break and a new high indicating that it is okay to sell. If you had the uptrend in play, it is not okay to sell, but you have a break new high, two legs up at two key entry points. This is a second entry short, and this is where you can go short here. I took a lower high here based on 2500 tick chart where the signal bar was much better, but you expect to get new low of this downtrend. Structure is still bearish. This is a lower high after second entry short. It was a good for a quick, easy scalp. So this was the good high priority setup, and you had to sit here the entire day because it was really difficult from this point on right here. If you missed these two trades, you basically didn't get any good entry for a long time. So just remember, some days are slow, some days are choppy, and your job is to just to take trades that you're most comfortable with and you don't want to be guessing. You have a set of rules that you follow. And even though it's hard to sit here for three hours without a trade, sometimes it is necessary for you to wait for the proper setup. Now we had a break new low. When I was watching this, I extended my trend line a little bit. Hold on, let me make it fit. Basically to make this fit right here. And I was still expecting for prices after break a new high and a second leg up to push back down and offer me a felt second entry long, but it never formed. And when do I stop looking for new extreme? I can use a Fibonacci tool to help me identify once we retrace over 50%, and we didn't push below EMA here and we pushed back up and we are now at the 61 and 80%. You don't have to use Fibonacci. This is just to see that you retrace too far of the previous initial trend because you cannot ignore the uptrend forever. At some point, you need to take a look and judge the structure. And once you push so far up and you retrace too much of the downtrend, that's when you have to switch and the new structure has to begin. So there ended up being a bigger pattern like this without any two like a pullback close to key entry point. There is the new high, little break, new low, first leg down, pullback, second leg down. So this is very similar setup to this. Just this one closed better because it closed right below the EMA. This one closed at the level of EMA. It would have been better had it closed above. But it is a second entry long two like a pullback with the direction of a trend. You broke the channel two legs to a new extreme. After you have a new extreme for the uptrend, trend line rule says that I expect correction or possible reversal. So if I wanna go long, I really need a clean felt second entry short to identify trend resumption. There was none of that. Price is straight up reverse down. And you can see now we're too late and too close. This is the bigger picture for the day. Definitely one of the hardest days to trade. Very few opportunities when it comes to high probability setups, but sometimes that happens. We trade a market we get, not the market we want. Patience is important. We cannot guess the entries. Congestions have to be skipped. And eventually there are always two or three high probability setups for each day. You just have to be patient and you just have to be ready. But if you didn't get good setups today, you definitely don't have to worry about this too much because it was really unusual difficult price action we didn't even reach the measure move down here we just reversed back up it took a little bit longer before we pull back just it was quite uh, all over the place but shortened channels will keep you on the right side of the market and you only want to take the second entry felt second entry or lower high higher low once you see nice break and new stream of the shortened channel shortened correction so i hope you had a good trading day and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one take care everybody